Hey guys, it's Joe from the Richline Adventures and I know it's been a while but as I mentioned to you guys in the last three videos, me and my family, we were moving from Hawaii to Virginia. We went to LA, picked up the Lear camper shell. So we traveled from LA to Virginia and it's been, a, it's been an adventure. We're staying with family right now, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with the channel. But um, I want to make a quick video so you guys know that I'm still alive and some quick impressions of the Lear camper shell that we got. This is the truck real quick. As you guys see, I removed the basket. The mass basket, I really just got it because we were traveling cross country and I was packed to the rim. Um, I took it off because honestly, it does hurt your MPG. So if you guys are looking into getting one uh, for my installation video, uh, just know that it's like driving with a parachute um, attached to you at all given time. So I took it off. I still have it. So whenever I go camping or we do any traveling, uh, I'll add it. But anyway, get get to the video now. This is the Lear camper shell that we got. Uh, Lear only makes two. Um, this is the one, if I remember correctly, the Lear 100 uh, XR. Uh, they make the XL and the XL. The only difference will be that it will have bigger um, windows. As you see right here, and it, it looks smoother. I didn't really like it. I, I like it like this. The, I chose to have um, this kind where this window just slides back because the reason why I got it, if you guys remember, is because I was traveling with my dogs. I had two golden retrievers and I want them to be safer and uh, as well with this heat it's it was easy for me to open these windows and they have plenty of ventilation if you get the the bat wings one which they're cool and all it, it defeated my purpose because my dogs couldn't have really uh, ventilation if you know different and, and you, you know I'm lying and correct me because as far as I saw in my research you either open them or you close them there's no sliding there's no mesh or anything so hopefully I didn't mess up because to be honest with you I do wish I had them because it would be a lot easier to open open the wing up and like reach anything in there but it's really not a big deal. Um, I love the camper show. So to go to the first impressions, they did a really good job. As you see over here in these lines, everything fits perfectly. I have got a, a, a lot of compliments saying that, wow, it's it's like it was made for it. Well, it was, but you know, you sometimes you have seen some camper shows where it doesn't fit right. Or it's just an ugly, ugly straight, straight, straight lines. and. With this one, um, I feel like they really did it because for at least for the rich line in this model, it looks like it was part of it. Um, I got some compliments. I also got some uh, hate before. It says that this, it looks like a, like a Yukon thing they told me. I'm like, whatever. I mean, you get what you get and um, be happy with it. So this is a truck. Um, once again, like I was telling you guys, I don't have a script. I don't have anything, just like my usual videos. I just want to check with you guys. And if you have any questions about this, and also just want to show you um, how they installed it as well. So you open like this, it's pretty cool. You can also lock it. There's two locking mechanisms on each side. So to open it this way, pretty sweet. Uh, oh, of course it locked open this up real quick uh, huh? all right oh come on rich line what are you doing to me uh, here we go guys I want to show you how they did it I do not know if every dealership does the same but the way they did it is uh, they removed this one and they added uh, look at this, uh, let me check. There is a elbow shape plate that goes directly behind this. And they put this big screw up. 
as well if you notice these are the original originals from the rich line this way bigger they gave it to me it was part of the deal i guess they realized that they cannot use the original ones with this i i don't understand i like it they're bigger they're they're better um as well the same same right here maybe this will be a different better angle as you see it goes oh oh god okay you know what as i'm talking to you guys in the camera i realize there is one piece that's why they replaced them i thought it was i thought this was one piece that was behind and this was the second one no oh no wonder so it's a solid piece with this attached to it and this so it's, it wasn't an l shape it's just the whole piece and that's why they had to replace it and with this one they also added this too where it's l shape but i have this now i don't i don't, I don't remember correctly but i don't think we have this at all so they just added this and both bolts if i ever want to take off the the lear it's as simple as taking this nut off in each side and removing it um this one that i chose i have the sport as you guys remember so i don't have a window so i chose to have a removable hole window here so whenever it's time to clean i can get behind it it removes completely obviously if you guys have the the fancy nancy rich lines i'm just kidding i wish i had the window though if you guys have the window then you can choose to have also a little window to have it connected but for me i can just remove the whole thing let me it's hard with one hand wait wait a second jesus jesus okay so clean back there pressure wash whatever you gotta do um to show you real quick this it just slides back and if you do it hard enough it will, it will click on this and it will latch on this one i keep it open because this virginia heat is terrible anyhow moving on guys also to show you i got the light um whenever you guys get it just choose to have the light it's really helpful it's honestly better than this too that we get on each side um soon enough i will change this light so maybe i'll, I'll make it a quick video uh no biggie and as you guys can tell i also chose to have the carpet <sighs> I thought it was necessary in case I ever go um, camping to a, a colder environment or so my dogs are a little more comfortable. Uh, anyway, guys, as I uh, told you, I live in Virginia now. If anybody watches me and is around here, around Fort Lee, Virginia, let me know. Maybe we can create a, a group or get together and uh, talk about our rich lines. But once again, guys, this is the Leard. 100 xr and i love it i wouldn't choose anything different except those bat wings they call it for the windows but to be honest with you it's really not a big deal like i said i got i got it for my dogs not for not for camping or anything like that um also i don't carry tools or anything in the back I just noticed it was kind of a pain in the butt when I was uh, traveling around the country where if I had something way back there, it's really a pain to um, to reach. Thankfully, I'm not that old yet and it was just fine, but um, I wish I had those. Anyhow, guys, um, real quick, if you guys can see, I took off the branding of my um, Rich Line. It looks it looks clean. Um, the only thing I want to do back here, I'm going to record me doing the plastic dip for this. I just want it to be black and stay tuned. Maybe I will do the black tips for the exhaust to really go no chrome in this whole vehicle. Anyway, guys, if you made it this far of the video, I appreciate your support. Um, thumbs up will be great. And if you want to share my 
my crazy videos to anyone or show them how the Lear looks in the rich line I will appreciate it so anyway this is it just look at it one last time and have a great day guys